Welcome back to the channel. As you know, uh, Muslims pray five times uh, a day, and each before each uh, prayer, there's a call to the prayer, which is usually given in in a mosque. Uh, in Muslim countries, this is done over through a loudspeaker, so that basically they tell everybody um, that's time for prayer. Uh, living in U.S. or other places, and in, in, uh, where it's not predominantly Muslim country. You don't have that luxury of uh, getting the, these uh, call to prayers uh, being done on the on the loudspeakers or in, in the mosque itself, which basically you can hear from in your home. So we resort to using either an uh, app on on the cell phone or just looking up online and just looking at the time. Uh, so one of the accessories that I believe it must have for any household is that have some kind of uh, clock or a frame or something which basically does this uh, call to prayer and do a reminder uh, that's time for prayer so looking online uh, I found this particular one on Amazon it's a company called Masjid Al uh, it's a digital frame so previously I had one of the basic regular clocks that had Adhan in there uh, which is with basic functionality uh, but getting into the digital age I thought I might as well give this one a try so let's see what it comes with and how does it perform. So some basic paperwork, a quick start guide. The box with the charger, a stand, and some screws for mounting. Let's put this aside. The charger is a barrel type. Personally, I would have preferred like a USB-C or a USB some kind of USB so one less adapter to deal with but since this is going to be stationary so not not such a big issue so there's a digital frame itself let's put the box aside let's see what this does like it's nicely padded packing so you can see some screen uh, Fingerprints, I had that open previously just to take a look at it. So nothing on the front, no buttons or anything on the side. Everything is on the back. So you can see it's called an AD player. Looking at the bottom, you have an SD, uh, first of all, the power switch, which is a really weird type. Uh, for a tablet, usually it's a push button or something but you actually have a toggle switch. To turn it on off. You have an SD card, a USB, uh, aux switch, a USB, a mini USB, and a DC in. And then you also have a mic. So the reason for you having an SD card is you can actually uh, download Azan from a website or if you prefer a different kind of Azan, you can actually do a custom Azan in there. It already have some built in, but you can also do custom thing. So let's uh, so let's turn it on and wait for it to boot up. So for all intent and purposes, when I was looking at it, it seemed like it's just a Android tablet or a f basically or a frame with Android OS running on on top of it. So I guess if you have the software, you can run it on any tablet as well. I'm not sure if it's available on our Google Store though. So as you can see, it takes some time for it to boot up. It's on for every home. Waiting for internet connection. I already had uh, connected earlier, so it's connected to my home Wi-Fi. So let's see. When you boot up the first time, it gives you an option to sync with Masjid. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you can sync with the Masjid or have a standalone basically where you provide where you are located at and it'll uh, calculate uh, the prayer times accordingly. So 
and for masjid, uh, to, if you want to sync with Mother Masjid, you have to make sure that they are on this website registered up there. So I go with sync with Masjid. So based on my current location, it basically provides me a list of uh, different mosques that are very near to me. So I just pick Richmond Islamic Center, and then it gives you an option to select different types of uh, azan. So let's see, they have two built in for Fajr, but you can also do custom if you want, like I was telling you about the SD card, you can utilize that uh, to have a custom azan if you want. You can download from online. Similar, all these, uh, you have more fewer, more options for the Zohar Asr and different prayers. And you also have a reminder for Bikur Ikma time, basically azan, and then you have a few minutes gap between when the, actually the time for, for prayer itself. Or you can just do no uh, reminder if you don't want Azan to be uh, played at that time. Same as uh, the new update that just came in when I first opened the tablet is for the Hajjud time as well. Right now it says muted. Um, that's there, so by default it's muted. Uh, other features you have Dua after Azan, you can turn it on off, and then 24 hour, 24 hour format for, for your timing. Uh, lastly, if the timings do not sync correctly or do not match up with what you're expecting, you can actually adjust this as well. So I'll just keep it as default. And now I have two different formats for my theme. One is a colorful one and the other one shows all the times at one place and also shows you when is the next prayer uh, is going to happen. So let's go with default. Zoom out a bit. Sorry about all the reflection. It's very difficult to show. So, as you can see, this is the screen. So, a couple of screens that you can actually toggle to. So this is your default screen with showing you the time, uh, the azan right now, uh, when the next azan and just uh, some duas that basically randomly selects. So go to the setting screen. Here again, you can do screen of the day, which was the dua I was showing you. Uh, what's new, if you have any new features that come in and you also have a audio and feature streaming, you have radio. Uh, Islamic radios, some du'as, Eid Takbirat, traveling, uh, basically some extra du'as, stories, Sirah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and live streaming from other masjids as well, and some bedtime stories. So you can do all that from there. Uh, so just a streaming option, going back to prayer timetable. It basically, since I selected my Islamic uh, Society, uh, Richmond Islamic Center, so showing me all the prayer timings for, for the, that masjid. So whatever you select, it will show you for that vertical mosque. Quran player, so you can select different reciters and have Quran uh, played on the tablet. And then you have a scheduler if you want a particular scheduled time for the prayer to come on. Let's cancel that and then you go to setting again I was showing you earlier you can set your different azans and uh, takbirats and all that stuff that you want uh, notifications and then you have some device info on that that this page I'm not sure if it's uh, focusing correctly I can just see uh, 24 for uh, and display weather. Let's turn this on. So as you can see now it's showing the temperature here. And if you go to setting again, you can also do a theme change. So seems like there is a bug uh, in the night setting. So if you go into settings, under setting there's a night mode which should automatically turn into dark 
So when is example, like in your uh, maps or other application, they get into a dark mode when during the night time. So when this is enabled, the theme does not get changed. And as you can see, even though I've selected 7 p.m. as a starting time, it already puts it in a dark mode. So go if I go back, go to settings and disable the night mode. Save setting and now I'm back to the correct theme. So definitely a bug here and there from the latest update that they've sent out, uh, which I got when I started the tablet. As you can see on the bottom, so I don't know if you guys notice while scrolling, as you can see, this is an Android tablet. You see? So it has Android operating system running on the background. So I go setting here, let's see what kind of version it's running. So it's a one gig RAM, 18, eight gigs of internal storage. It's an Android six version. It's extremely old version from 2015. So I wonder if we can get the same functionality by just finding this A-frame app from somewhere. Uh, so being an Android tablet, you can say you have Bluetooth, you can connect your Bluetooth speakers as well to do that. Interesting though. So you also have a video player if you want to watch any videos. Also have a music player. And you can go back to the other one. So, and when everything is closed, it basically have, it shows up an icon where you can click and go to this application. If you want to go through tutorial, there's a separate setting right here, which shows you how to configure the Amazon clock. So that's it for now. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions and we'll see you again. Bye.